Hi friends, it's Monica and welcome to my reaction to Shadow and Bone Season 2. If this is your first time on my channel, hi there, I'm Monica and I make a bookish content here on YouTube and I'm happy that you could join us here today. First, if you notice that my voice sounds a little bit weird, it's because I am recovering from COVID and I feel a little bit congested and my voice is still covering. Second, I did want to apologize for those of my subscribers that have been waiting for this reaction to come out as soon as possible but also was just on vacation and then when I got back home, I got COVID so I didn't really have the time to sit down and film without coughing and sounding worse than I do right now. How I did set this up was you will be seeing the clips of Shadow and Bone and I'll be reacting in whatever corner that I place myself in. The plan for this reaction is to give my genuine reactions to Shadow and Bone Season 2, which I have reacted to of Season 1. And I'm really excited to get into this season and see what changes they made in the TV show compared to the books because I do feel like this season they did many changes. And I might make some comments here and there that have some spoilers from the books, so I'm so sorry in advance. I'll try my best not to do that, but as we are watching season 2 of a show, things might just pop up. Let's just jump right into my reaction of episode 1, season 2 of Shadow and Bone. Oh, we have a fancy new intro. Some crows. In the fold again. And I think this is 100% a nightmare, which it is. And not surprised that they do like a nightmare opening because of the Darkling haunting Lena and she's basically on the run from him and he's still hunting her down. Tell me again. Kirgan is dead. I saw the Volker take him once for us. Kirgan is not dead. He is very much 100% alive. Sorry, Mal and Alina. Ooh, we get like a new nice map transition. So Mal and Alina were in Nova Zem, and now we're going to Ketterdam with the crows. I love the crow like little theme jingle that we hear. Dime lions. Pekka Where does that leave us? This season, we are going to be diving into Kaz's background, which I am super excited about because his background and his backstory is really sad and we're going to find out a lot about Kaz and why he is the way he is. It was his. Outrageous. You oh, yes, it. yes. Totally convincing. Thank you, Jason. Well, I'll take it from this is 100% nickel. <laughs> you can't be anyone else in that. But go on. And sorry if I'm fiddling with my ear. It's because I have my ear pods and they tend to fall out. Tell me, what gave it away? You dress too well for a bodyguard. Kaz still being his observant self. Very well. The name's Sturmhond. And for those who don't know, he's a privateer. This is like his alter ego. <laughs> it all looks so uh... I am not like the hugest fan of Mel and Lena, but I do like how their relationship has developed and we have that one bed in an intro which I love. I do like to see these two like on the TV screen compared in compared to in the books. And with Mal and Alina, they have been fighting for their entire lives ever since they were orphans until they found each other at the orphanage and then they went into the first army. And then of course with everything happening with the Darkling, their only solace was within each other and the, the show does a really great job at emphasizing that. What am I supposed to do with this? That look that Cass gives him. <laughs> you knew about you being a jurist, and when you shoot, you never miss. And we see how Cass and his observant nature is being highlighted, and of course how Jasper is a fabricator, a jurist, um, 
basically a Grisha. You. Like calls to like, Miss Starkov. That line doesn't work on me anymore. <laughs> Not easily swayed by the Darkly anymore. Veiled threats and empty promises. My promises were real, I assure you. I'm not sure if these are like illusions, nightmares, just dreams, or like if there's a deeper connection here going on between uh, Alina and the Darkling. Most precious to you. Okay, in this case, it's a nightmare. And I feel like the search for the sea whip was quite easy for Mel and Alina because she's like, okay, I'm gonna use my power. And like, oh my god. On the map, there's the sea whip. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who would have known? Hey! Anything to protect them out from whomever, Alina would use her power and expose them. And I love how we see here in the Neuve Zem culture how they have a different view of Grisha than they do in Ravka and how they're helping out Mel and Alina here. And it's really nice to see the different cultures that are mentioned in the Shadow and Bone universe. I love like the slow-mo introduction of these two characters which are evidently the twins Toya and Tamar. Where should we start? Not Tunde's, Tunde's pub. pub. No, because I'm really excited to see these two and what role they play in this season, how they fit into what we already established in season one. Did you find we're accused of murdering Tante Helene. Wait, what? We didn't do that though. Wait, did you do that? It was Pekka Rollins, wasn't it? I love how jumpy Jasper is and with how wraithy Inesh can get. So basically here we're learning that Pekka is owning the Crow Club, the Menagerie, and accusing the crows of murder. The our crows are in a pickle. Wyland! So happy that he's finally here. Thanks in part to you. Mr. Stavwitz, we're after you. How much phosphorus did you pack into that flash bomb? The escape option against the Darkling. And I really like how we have that link of where um, Kaz got that bomb in season one, when, which he threw at the Darkling. And now we're learning it's connected back to Wyland. Oh, my trembling heart. <laughs> <laughs> and we have another introduction of another crow, Nina, with her heart render abilities. I, for one, Nina is one of my favorite characters. Also, I love Inej, and what more could you want? <laughs> and this would be Hellgate, so Matthias is in prison, and it's not a fun time for him. <laughs> And we have the first appearance of the shadow people, shadow monsters, that we saw like a hint of at the end of season one with the Darkling. And as we know, the Darkling's alive, so. I have returned! He's like, I'm back from the dead. And I've made some new friends. And these are my new buddies. <laughs> Am I glad to see you? And now we see where Jenya is and how she will be with the Darkling right now, which I don't think she really has a choice in it, and she's doing her best with what she's got. Brick by brick. I'm so excited to see all of the crows together. Well, five of the crows together in the shot and Kaz does have this tendency of not telling his crew what he's planning and he's like surprise <laughs> 
and that is how episode one ended. I hope my reactions were fun to watch and if you got this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and ring the notification bell to not miss any future uploads and I'll see you all in my next reaction video. Bye! Thank you.